Actually, five. Oh, I was just gonna say it's uh would have taken me a while to calm down from that. Mm -hmm, I think so too. But how do you think that affects both of them? Obviously, Balajaro's had a little more downtime to cool off, but not as warm. You know, MH7 has just come off of a match. Granted, a very stressful match, but warm. Yeah, I think it's probably better to be warm in this instance. I mean, MH7 was probably feeling like he's still playing the same game. Like, this is just a continuation of that previous match that he played. Just another set of legs for him. So I think he'll be okay with just having played versus Baladero, having a bit of a break in between. But we'll see who's going to meet PHN in the final. This is the loser side final between Baladero and MH7. Baladero this time in the white strip, MH7 in the purple. It's going to be Baladero on the attack already. With Bellingham. Bellingham a bit wide than we're used to seeing him. Gives it back to Pele. Pele has a shot. Oh, is that going to be a penalty? No. Referee says play on. Bellingham tries to drag back. Pele gives the ball to N'Golo Conte. He's going to give it back to Pele. Pele to R9. R9 takes the shot. Great block from the defenders. Great first chance there for Baladero. Baladero dominant in possession so far. It's only been six minutes, but I like what I see so far. MH7, of course. Played that tough game against SBQR Young. Young having more of the chances, but about, I mean, uh, excuse me, for MH7 converting the chances that he got, which is all that matters at the end of the day in FIFA 22. As we see here, Baladero starting off a new attack, almost getting close to goal on that first attack. What can he do on the second there? He's got some width on the side with Pele, just staying on side. Or maybe not, just drifting <laughs> offside there. Pele almost closing down Marquinhos. You can see there. MH Evans Pele just dropping a bit deep, trying to pick the ball up. It's going to be a throw in now for MH Evans. Passes it back. Oh, lots of pressure from Mbappe. Mbappe almost getting the ball. And, oh, that would have been trouble Ooh. there. But when's the ball back now? Mbappe. Over the top to Ronaldo. Oh, Ooh. Ronaldo Donnarumma comes out, wins the ball. Still with Baladero and Mbappe. Hakimi gives the ball to Conte. Conte's going to switch the ball over to the left side. Cancelo has to go back for just a bit. Varane switch. Hakimi. He's got Conte, but... The midfielders of MH7 ready to intercept at moment's notice. Bellingham. Cancelo trying to find some room to work with. Pele can't get it to R9 just yet. Could there be a counter from R9? R9's going through over the top. There's some space on the wide right side for Pele. Pele's going to try the cross in to R9. Just doesn't work. Of course, we see those back post crosses working a bit, mm -hmm. but didn't really get to the back post layer, did it? No, not this time. And I feel like, like we had said before, Belladero is, is dominating this first half. Um, MH7 has had a few counters, uh, and with those counters have had some, some pretty decent chances, but haven't been able to convert. But we have Belladero on the attack again. Belladero trying to make that attack work, but nice interception there from MH7. 20... Four minutes gone, and we're still at a stalemate in this first leg. Of course, don't forget it's a two-legged affair. And you know, we have a lot of low-scoring games, but okay, when there's this much money on the line, everybody's going to be way more careful than they're used to being normally. Again, the difference between this match is ten or twenty thousand dollars. If you win this, huh. you get to compete for 25 or 35K. If you lose this, you go home with 15. So I think these guys are going to be extra careful, Leah. Mm-hmm, 100%, I agree. Either way, a decent prize pool, I would say. But still, when there's $10,000 more on the line, you don't want to make any mistakes. So I don't blame them for being a little more careful uh, on the attack and defense. Cautious gameplay from these two. Bellingham thought he had a bit of room to take a finesse shot. Cristiano. Oh, this is space right oh. here. That's going to be the first goal for Baladero. He gets so hyped.
Ot takes his headphones off there, and we have our first goal there, Leia. Let's go! Balladero breaks the deadlock. Incredible goal. And Pele, you love to see that. He's not missing from there, is he? Definitely not missing from there. The 99 moments. Pele, five-star skill, moves with a four-star weak foot. Still able to bury that with that weak foot. On his left side, 98 composure from Pele. 98 ball control, 98 reactions, 99 finishing. That's the stat. That's the most important <laughs> right there. You saw that on display. You did. You sure. did indeed. Just a moment ago. It's going to be 1-0. We have a pause here from MH7. Got to figure out what he needs to change because, again, over $10,000 on the line here. You definitely want to get your tactics right. You see the trophy that these two guys want to take home. What is it going to be? Who is going to have what it takes to make it to the grand final here at the E Libertadores in Asuncion, Paraguay? Why? Listen, one nothing. Baladero takes the lead, but still early. Lots and lots and lots of time. I feel like at this point, this one nothing could mean very little for each of them. Lots of time to bring it back, or lots of time to score another goal for Baladero. Could mean very little in the grand scheme of things, but man, maybe a second goal for Baladero could be a bit different. Of course, Bella, they're known for the comeback so far in this tournament, but mm -hmm. if he goes up 2-0, someone else is going to have to do the comeback. Mitch yeah, Sabin with the finesse. No green time, so Donnarumma says, you know what, that's going to be a bit easy for me. Cancelo. Another switch of play that we're used to seeing so far in FIFA Esports and FIFA 22. Just to, you know, figure out which... Side is better to attack. You saw R9 trying to make a run. I have to check it there. It was moving offside. Baladero's got some numbers. Ooh, great interception there from the midfielders. For MH7. What does he need to do? What does he need to switch up? That's got to be offside. I think he's doing a good job. I think he's come back with a little more aggressiveness especially in the midfield uh, he's taking a little bit longer making a few more decisive passes ensuring that he doesn't get dispossessed and lose possession uh, in order for Baladero to, to counter so uh, if he just keeps what he's doing I think there's another goal on the cards definitely another goal on the cards and are we going to see one before halftime last attack yeah. setting up for Baladero Cancelo just going to spread the ball wide on the right side. Mbappe going to keep it in only just. Oh, interception for MH7. Can he get an attack? No, he can't. First half. Thoughts, Leo? Good first half. Very, uh, I think Baladero dominated for most of that first half. In after the goal, MH7 was able to bring it back a little bit. Like I said, be a little more aggressive. But I think... Uh, for me, Baladero takes the first half. I do what I imagine that we'll see, especially moving forward in this first leg, is probably a little bit of a drop back. I think that's something that we've seen before from Baladero when he goes up. He sits a little bit, absorbs, but as you said, and as we know too well, absorbing that pressure invites, er, absorbing the pressure invites more pressure. So that's where mistakes could be made. Mistakes could be made. Will mistakes be made in the second half of the first leg losers final? PH Zin awaiting the winner of this matchup. He's sitting pretty in the grand final, waiting for the challenger. And he wants to go one step further than last year where he came second place. Will he do it? There's only one way to find out. We got to stay tuned for the next game, the next round of matches. But first, Who's going to join him? It's going to be Baladero. Is it going to be his teammate, MH7? Baladero on the attack now. Just winning the ball back in the white strip. R9 making that run. See Mbappe making a run down the wing. Doesn't see him. Switches to the left side. Billingham's just going to keep control of this. Mbappe is tracked back now. And Conte is going to spread the ball. Hakimi. Conte making the forward run now. A lot of space open if he loses the ball here. Doesn't want to lose the ball. Conte's out of position. Bellingham's a bit forward. So 
Just got to be very careful right now to make sure just not lose the ball. Conte. Mbappe. Oh, oh. Tries a skill cancel. Ronaldo. Uh, oh. Uh, Gets the ball back though. Oh, R9 oh. doesn't respond, unfortunately. So the tech fizzles out there. It does, it does. But a good attack nonetheless. Had R9 been there, responded to that pass in the box, I think maybe we would have seen a second goal. Gets the ball back. Uh, could be offside, offside. for R9. Yep. Yeah, just, just a bit early. Maybe a, a bit of excitement for Baladero getting to him. Moving the ball a bit too quick. As we saw that run from R9. And Baladero controlling most of the game so far. MH7 needs to get a few chances to get the confidence going. Can he find one here? Tries the pass from R9. Can't find his strike partner Mbappe. Kant is going to switch it out to the left side. Varane. Hakimi. Mbappe, Hakimi, link up for Paladero. Proving very effective. Lots of runs being made behind the defenders for Mbappe. Now it's Jude. Ooh. The other Jude decides, uh, guys, I'm going to break this up for a bit. <laughs> Not today, thank you. And then, guess what? Jude wins it back. It's just the Jude Bellingham show, Future Stars. <laughs> Pele, almost thought he had a cross there. Akimi reads him mm -hmm. like a book. Gets the ball. MH7 has a chance in transition, but two very patient players here, Leo. Very, very patient. I think that, you know, like I mentioned before, Balagiaro is, is good with absorbing a little bit of that pressure while still controlling the game, but MH7 isn't perhaps attacking as aggressively as... We'd like to see him at this point in the game. Granted, we still do have a second leg, so I feel like perhaps he'd like to see this one out, get another goal and equalize, but I don't think the aggressive um, attack and counterattack will happen until the second leg. Fair point about the aggression not coming to the second leg. These guys, again, just don't want to make too many mistakes, but at the same time, MH7 still needs a goal. It'd be better if he finds this goal in the first leg. Tries mm -hmm. to get that ball through, but Conte is absolutely everywhere. And now Conte is going to try and set Mbappe free. Mbappe tries to link up pass. Doesn't work out. Mbappe's got some space now. Mm. But flashback wrong. Vital interception. Now his teammates can go forward. Ronaldo. Varane's going to do the R1 switch. Switch it back. Hakimi on the ball gives it to Conte. Nice little turn from Conte. Ronaldo, oh. Wants to play it out wide. Maybe get a cross in, but great interception from Zhao Cancelo. Now the other Ronaldo can start the attack for MH7. Needs to have something happen for him in this first leg. Ten minutes to go. Something going to break for him. Not too many chances to speak of for MH7. But Not many at all. Both very passive, I feel. Very passive gameplay right now. Just, again, not wanting to make mistakes, but some spaces opening up. Ah, Maybe over the top would have been worked a bit better. Now a, a run is up for Ronaldo. Checks his run, though. Mbappe is not going to go for it just yet. Another switch of play. you just getting that pass off in time. I would imagine that he's happy to hold until he has the last play, especially considering MH7 has a queue or has a pause queued up. Exactly. Good opportunity to not let MH7 make the changes he would want to make. Mm -hmm. Just hold the ball. And gain the advantage. Three more minutes. This first leg, one more leg coming to decide who is going to go to the grand final on the loser side of the bracket. Again, Balladere is waiting for that last Ooh. chance and oh, interception. And now 
gives up that chance to his opponent. Is he going to take it? Mbappe is going to be sent. Mbappe makes his way through. Sorry, Ronaldo, excuse me. They take the finesse shot. Oh. oh. Didn't green time that. Gets the pause. <laughs> Four full time, like two seconds left. <laughs> I don't think that's going to uh, matter too much as we take this goal kick. I think that's going to be it. Unless the referee decides to let it go. No. He says, you know what? That's enough time. And uh, there you go. One nil to Baladero, Leah. How'd you enjoy that match? Definitely slower than we've seen, but I think that's what makes sense at this point in the competition. I know, you know, a lot of people in the chat, especially, um, are often are often not crazy about this type of gameplay. But you have to remember that holding the ball and sitting back is a tactic in real football, in real life football, and especially when there's this much money on the line, that's what they have to do to get the job done. We're not going to see high-scoring games uh, in the matches going forward. I feel like everyone is going to play it safe. They're going to only attack and only make passes when they have the space or the time to do so. And otherwise, they're going to do what we saw in this first leg. Exactly. Uh, especially with so much money on the line. I think these guys, like we mentioned, very cautious about this first leg. And then maybe on the second leg, you might see a bit more aggression coming out of them. Uh, and then you see them going for it. I mean, ma 7 definitely has to go for it. So hopefully you'll see maybe like a 4-3-2-1 type of situation. Uh, we all know that some of the SPQR players have been using that, but that's going to get a few more players forward. Uh, you're going to have two of your midfielders sit back, but then have the outside midfielder. Uh, usually on the right side, like Ronaldo, push up just a bit and give you more attacking options. But we'll have that second leg for you guys in just a bit. We're going to take a quick break and come back with you for that second leg.
Guys, we are still here for that loser's bracket final between our two competitors. We have from R10 Esports, MH7 versus NMG's Baladero. We find Baladero in the lead right now, one to nil. I'm Chew Boy, joined by Leia Ravel. We're both in Canada, but the competition is in Paraguay, South America. As we see these two competitors decide who goes on to meet R10 PH Zen, who they've already played against and both lost to Leah. Yeah, 100%. I think, like we said, a, a bit of a dominant first leg, um, a little more passive towards the end of that first game. But uh, Aladiero has the lead, 1 nothing going into the second leg. Do you think we see a different MH7? I think we have to see a different MH7 as we think get things going. Uh, we see MH7 in the purple kit. He gives the ball away in the first chance. To Baladero. Baladero's got Cristiano Ronaldo. Who can he find? Has to turn back just a bit. Great defending again from Jude Bellingham, but I think MH7 definitely has to do something a bit different this time. Has to be more aggressive. Has mm -hmm. to go for it. He's down 1 0. He was very passive in the first leg. Wasn't bobbing down too much in the opponent's half at all so definitely needs to switch that up but this is his first chance and nothing happening in that first opportunity for him still a lot of time only five minutes on the clock Leo that's right unfortunately nothing happening in that first first chance and uh, like we were saying before it definitely has to be a little more aggressive we need to see a bit um, less passive gameplay from MH7 and a little more aggressive, but I think that Baladero is going to be expecting that from him as well. He knows that this is do or die for MH7 at this point, so he uh, he's anticipating some pressure being put on him. Some pressure definitely being put on him right here, but he's got the ball back and bopping with him. Through ball on side. Pele! Oh! Pele gets him back in it. All it took is one ball. And it's 1-1, one, one, Leah. 1-1, one, one. what did I say? What did I say? I said it's not over yet. Anything can happen. That's the kind of aggressive counterattack play style that we need to see from MH7. And he does. He brings it back. One all 12 minutes into the first half of the second leg. And now, what is Baladero going to do? How is he going to respond? Are we going to have another instant response that we've seen so many times in the past in this tournament? Of course, the difference if you win or lose this match is $10,000 or more. And the winner could, could be for $25,000 or $35,000, first or second place. But the loser stays with $15,000. Still not bad, but I think you want maybe $10,000 more it's if you could get it. Yeah, it's always when you know that you could have had you could have had that much more. You know, $15,000 is still an incredible prize pool, and $15,000... That these players didn't have before in their pockets so definitely good either way but tough going home knowing that you could have had ten thousand more oh nice little skill there from ronaldo flicks it over for mh7 ronaldo can sell a back post for ronaldo r9 couldn't convert you can see there mh7 picking up the speed a bit more than he did in that first like something must have changed for him mm -hmm. i think he knew the urgency of the situation, but now Belladero on the attack in the white. It's got N'Golo Conte, ball roll turns. Nice little ball to R9, R9 is gonna oh. cancel that. Oh my goodness, Marquinhos is there though. Nice little shot cancel from Belladero. Just to switch things up and now MH7 has got Cancelo, who's being tracked by N'Golo Conte. He's gonna pass it back just to reset. Maybe switch it to the right side, but he's got Pele now going straight forward. Oh, oh, R9! What a oh. save. What a save from Donna Roma. Keeping Belladero in this. And we're going to get the knock on. As we saw that tactic used by uh, SBQR Young. Mm -hmm. Using the player lock to drift the player a bit off to the side away from the... Oh, that's a red time finish. You don't want to be doing that in such a situation. Mm -hmm. Not when there's this much on the line. Definitely not. Cancelo. Takimi. Oh. Running into Mbappe. You don't want to be <laughs> seeing that from your...
players. Kimi gets it back though. Nice recovery. Switch of play from oh, no. Ron, but no, that's a giveaway. Maybe a bit of nerves getting to Baladero. Mm -hmm. MH7. He's got some players wide. Oh, can't find the accuracy on that pass, that over the top through ball. MH7 is pressing a lot harder this time around. Um, and I think, I'm not sure if Baladero has expected that this early into the second leg. Uh, he's panicking a little bit, it looks like, when he has to make a pass, which is leading to him being dispossessed. The pressure is on, and this is what the pressure does to you. When money's on the line, pride is on the line. It can make you do things that you wouldn't normally do mm -hmm. when you're sitting at home playing FIFA mm -hmm. in your sweatpants. <laughs> Uh, this is the big leagues. This is the big stage. Oh, almost a through ball there. And we haven't seen too many chances from Baladero so far. Definitely needs to change something in the second half. 37 minutes gone until the halftime whistle. MH7 is going to be a bit patient here. We start the attack. Bellingham. Over the top to R9. Oh, great, great recovery defending. from Varane. Great, great defending by Varane. Composed. Simple. I'm surprised that he even got there. I thought it was a guaranteed through ball for R9, but Juan thought otherwise. And now MH7 might have the last attack of the half. I'm sure he'll hold out for that last attack. And it looks like, like I mentioned, he's pressing a, a lot more aggressively than he was. And, and Balladero is just taking a little bit too long. You have to make those quick passes when you're being pressed as hard as MH7 is pressing him. Exactly. Good point, as always, from Leia. And now oh. R9! Oh. What a save! Oh my <laughs> gosh! Donnarumma! Again! Craziness! I don't know what kind of reflexes Donnarumma has, but definitely of the feline nature. <laughs> Cat-like, one would say. Cat-like reflexes. Team of the year, Donnarumma. And now it's uh, going to be 1-1 one, one on aggregate at halftime. 1-0 in this leg to MH7. But Leia, what's uh, Balladera going to have to change here in the second half? I think, you know, like I said, I say this in the second half of the second leg every single time, but it's do or die. It's all or nothing for him at this point. Uh, he is actually not behind. He's equal at 1-1 one, one on aggregate, so he just needs to stay composed, make those quick passes. Obviously, MH7 is going to be going for the same thing, so they're both going to be pressing each other hard, aggressively. They both need to make quick passes, attack a little more aggressively as well, uh, and make sure they have that space. Um, if they don't have the space, switch tactics around and try and get those long shot finesses in. Definitely a need for long shots since it's so hard to get past these defenders and these midfielders. Could we see a long shot banger like we saw in some of the previous rounds? We start the second half. We're trying to decide who's going to meet PH Zin in the grand final to compete for those $35,000. Oh, great win from uh, Jude Bellingham right there. Using his uh, physicality. Just how muscled the opponent. Marquinhos, Bellingham again. Hakimi. Pele switch. Gonzalo's got a pass, but great interception from the defender. You see a run being made. I think that's by Conte, maybe. I want to pull him back. That could be Pele. I'm sorry, Maradona subbed on. Hey, big changes being made already. Big changes being made. Gravenbridge subbed on as well. Maradona. Great pass there. Is that onside? Mm. That is, but opportunity just not there. Great block to stop that through ball. And Baladero on the attack. Oh, with oh. R9. Oh, oh. 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 Baladero. We thought that was going to be another incredible save from Donnarumma. But luckily, his player is there for the rebound, Leia. 
His player is there for the rebound. 2-1, Balladero. That is a very, very important goal. 56 minute. Killian Mbappe. Oh my goodness. What a response from Balladero. Great build up play. R9 with a shot. Donnarumma. We thought made another super save. But Mbappe was there to clean things up. Now, how is MH7 going to respond? He's got 30 minutes to do so. 30 minutes to change his fate and meet his teammate in the grand final. PH in, of course, was congratulating his teammate MH7 for making mm -hmm. this loser's final. I'm sure he'll be happy to see him in the grand final. I think so, too. And I feel like Valadero is going to be comfortable with just doing what he did in the first leg and just kind of sitting back, absorbing. I don't see, I don't think he'll feel the need to get another goal. I think it's more important for him at this point to just absorb and uh, not make any mistakes. Any mistake at this point in the game, especially with only 20 minutes left, can really cost him the lead. It can definitely cost him the lead. And, uh, Maybe that giveaway will cost him right here because MH Evans back in the attack. 66 minutes on the clock. And what can MH7 do on this attack right here? He's got to play in the box, but oh, great interception from Graven Birch. Baladero's got a few runners going forward, but Cristiano Ronaldo checks his run. Switches the play to Cancelo's side. 20 minutes left for Baladero to hold on. He's got the ball now. Just trying to keep as much possession as possible. Trying to mm -hmm. frustrate the opponent to making a mistake, into moving a player out of position. You can see a pause queued up. MH7 is going with that 4 3 2 1. Constant pressure for sure. Constant pressure. To win the ball back and create a chance. All he needs is one chance to tie things up. If not, it's going to be Balladero. Moving on to meet PHN one more time. Of course, PHN beating him emphatically 5 1, Balladero. Mm -hmm. so what a final that will be. That would be an interesting final. Now he's going to be looking for revenge, Leo. He will be, he will be. And listen, he's had some time to compose. He's had some time to analyze Peterson's gameplay going into that final, if he does make it there. So perhaps he changes his tactics and approaches that with a more strat strategized approach. A more strategized ap approach is needed, definitely. As we get the game back on the way, 75 minutes, just 50 minutes left. Oh, the direct pass from MH7, not working just yet. baladero has got Cristiano Ronaldo. He's got a man wide, R9, knocks it down. Back to get it's back to holding possession. Marquinhos, Cancelo, oh, tries to make that pass to R9, but great interception there. Now, MH7 has a chance to tie things up. Is this the moment he's been waiting for? Pele crosses the back post. Ronaldinho Ooh. is there, but can't just get high enough. And R9 takes a shot. Blocked. The chances keep coming. Bellingham. Pele. Pele gets it back. Oh. Pele! Oh, oh, my God. Oh, that's a penalty. Oh, that's a penalty, Belladero's defense conceding a penalty late. I didn't even get a look at that. And MH7 has a chance to tie things up and take this to extra time. Oh, wow. Where's it going to go? Oh, and he Dance. buries that MH7. Oh, Baladero man. Is gonna, he's going to feel terrible about conceding that, Leia. Yeah, 100%. I think that was an unlucky penalty to concede. I'm not sure if he was controlling the player at the time that conceded the penalty, but listen, MH7, rightfully so. It's 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. 
2 2. MH Evans back in it, winning that penalty. And it looks like we could be going to extra time unless something happens in these last seven minutes. Is Baladero going to keep his cool hold possession? Loses the ball. And MH7 is going to build up another attack. MH7 does have a pause queued up. Is he going to keep holding that possession? Looks like he is. Gives it back to the center backs. A little bit of pressure from Baladero. Doesn't want to bring his players out too much. But again, just playing that patient football. But with how good interceptions are in FIFA 22, we have not seen any of these 90-minute tactics pay off. Mm -hmm. Nobody able to convert this last chance opportunity. Seems like there's always one midfielder that just gets that one interception, that vital interception to make things not happen. But we'll see what happens here as we see their wayward pass and now. I mean, Chevin actually wins the ball back. Now a few players are out of position for Baladero. Ronaldinho going to get there? No. I think that could be it. I think we're going extra time, Leia. I think so, too. It does look that way. There you go. Nothing to separate the two once again. And we are going into extra time. I mean, Leia, Ooh. was that a better leg than that first leg? I think so. Definitely more exciting. More goals for sure. Um, I think they knew, both players knew that they, you know, they needed to do something in order to move on to that grand final. Uh, both did something, but unfortunately, nothing can separate them after 90 minutes. We see that that late tackle right there. I think that was Marquinhos that might have just tackled Mbappe as he laid it off. Conceding that late penalty. Only nine minutes for Baladero to hold on, but mm, unfortunately, unlucky. his defender gives away that penalty. Now we're going to extra time. Two 50-minute halves. Let's get it going. It's going to be MH7 attacking first in that purple kit. Baladero in the white kit. Who is going to come out on top? Of course, MH7 just won that dramatic penalty shootout. Could we be seeing penalties once again? Quite possibly. It's a chance, but MH7, of course, well versed in the dark arts of penalties, it seems like. Well, Ronaldinho with the shot, but that's going to be a corner. Great block from Team of the Year Marquinhos. It'll be Ronaldinho taking the corner. Gonna look for that knock on, but KDB wins the header. Bellingham gonna try to find some space. Cray interception. Ruben Diaz gonna reset it. Switch the ball out wide. Bellingham. Grabbing Birch. R9, Ronaldinho! Mbappe! Gets the goal for MH7 and Leia. Did you see that? I mean, listen, when it's 2 2 going into extra time, I feel like anything can happen. MH7 knows he's still in the game. Valadero knows he's still in the game. So there's still lots of time left in this period of extra time. So let's see if Valadero can respond. Can Baladero respond? So close to winning this match, but conceding a late penalty. Now he finds himself down, but he's got some space now. Cristiano Ronaldo, oh, he's got R9 there. Oh, just maybe a turn too many, trying to find R9 or create space for a shot. Now Pele's got some space. R9 has space as well. I think that's Ronaldinho coming, making that late run. Oh, R9 can't make the header. Mbappe gives the ball. Sorry, gets the ball, but can't get the shot off. And now Baladero's got a chance before halftime to even things up. Maradona. You can see R9's right there. Oh, no, 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 no. The wrong choice. Heavy touch to by Sierra 7. Unlucky. He has to be really, really, really disappointed that he conceded that last minute penalty because otherwise that game would have been done. That game would have been done if oh. the heavy touch just wasn't there, but my goodness, this is tense stuff. Very, very tense. One more period of extra time if the scoreline stands. 
MH7 faces his or his teammate and opponent in the grand final. I'm sure Ronaldinho was watching this, hoping for an all Ronaldinho esports final or 10 esports. As we see Baladero on the ball now, he needs a goal to tie things up and he needs it fast. Maradona. Is KDB going to finish that? No. Decides to check back. Grab a bird. She's got space now. Oh, I thought maybe give it back to KDB for that finish shot, but doesn't. Misplaced pass for Belladero. And now, MH7, is he just going to try and hold possession? He's got to fight off the heart, the high press, excuse me, for Belladero, as you see there. Belladero winning it back. He's going to send players forward. Mbappe. Checks back to Gravenberch. Nice little turn there. R9, oh, oh no! Oh, oh. How does that not go in? Oh, my goodness. How does that not go in? Great save from Donnarumma, who else? Who else? And the ball just tiptoes around the post. Unlucky for Baldero, but he's got five minutes to get back in this. We're going to see a very extravagant celebration from MH7. Nice run from Cancelo. This could be the chance. This is it. It's do or die. Is that onside? Oh, over the top. I don't know if it's going to get Oof. that. Ah, Ruben Diaz. This could be one more chance for Baladero to win the ball back. Maybe win this header. There you go. Oh, Bellingham. Oh. Immense tackle, $10,000 tackle from Bellingham. That might be just it. It's not Dino. Oh, and Donnarumma's out. Donnarumma's out, is that trying to bait him out and help him make a move. Donnarumma, there you go. Oh, Donnarumma. Oh. No, 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 no. Donnarumma, oh. Donnarumma, Donnarumma. What are you doing? Get out of the way, Donnarumma. Baladero, you can see and how upset he is. Upset and MH7 is just holding that in the corner. Oh, unlucky for Baladero. And my guy's just gonna cheese this corner. I, I won't lie mm -hmm. to you, I kind of do that thing a bit. I, I, I you know, <laughs> if I'm up, I'll, I'll just change. Listen, especially when there's this much money on the line. Yeah. MH7 does it through to the grand final to face his teammate, PH7. Yeah. Insane scenes. What do you think? Oh, Baladero, just a bit unlucky there. Was unable to see it out, was unable to control the game. And unfortunately, he's going to go home. I mean, you know, depending on how you see it, $15,000 isn't too bad, but he could have had a bit more. But unfortunately, he crashes out of the tournament in third place. What do you think about yes. his gameplay there? Leia? Listen, I feel like he played.